Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today we are going to be doing a clean and cook with me and it is a two day clean with me. I wanted to get enough footage for y'all that the video would be longer. It's not quite an hour but I hope it is long enough. But we are starting out by making pot roast. I'm going to cut up my potatoes and my onion and throw some carrots in there. And while I do that I wanted to share a comment from the last video we have started to put positive quotes in the comments so if you're new here and you want to leave a positive quote in the comments or if you have been here for a while and you want to keep on doing that please do I loved reading all of them and I think it is very encouraging to see the comments this way but this one says what you feel you become what you think you attract what you imagine you create and I love that so much there's a ton of positive quotes in the comments of the last video so if you want to go read those you can and I hope y'all fill up the comments on this video as well with all of your positive quotes you never know who it may help out that is feeling down that day or just lift someone up so I'm going to be using this slow cooker tender pot roast seasoning mix and then I'm using a chuck roast and they tend to be a little bit tough when you're cooking them so I'm going to add some pepperoncini juice if you wanted to you could just add some vinegar to it and then I'm also going to cook this in a big thing of beef broth to just add a little bit more flavor instead of using water but of course anytime I show y'all food Y'all can adapt it however you like, and you can always give me some tips as well. Um, I do appreciate your feedback. So let's go ahead, and once this is done, we're going to start cleaning up the kitchen. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. So I cooked ours on high for about five hours and then Aaron was out fishing so I just switched it to low until he got home but it just depends on the size of the meat and what I like to do is when my potatoes have softened I go ahead and turn it down on low because the meat is going to continue to cook through anyways but the kitchen is a mess because the other day <laughs> y'all so a grocery haul and a clean with me and I put up all the cold food of course but I was tired from what we had been doing that day and so I left out the dry food so we're putting that up and then I have a few dishes I need to get done I've been good about keeping up with my dishes sometimes people ask I guess because we don't have children they wonder like um, how many days does it take you for your house to get messy it really just depends if we're at home on the weekends it gets messy so fast but during the week it kind of stays pretty reasonable and i kind of just have to build up a couple of days to get enough footage to show y'all like a 30 minute video but whenever you're seeing like the little 15 minute videos those can be just everyday messes i feel like because we don't have children it seems like our house should stay clean all the time and it it's not always that way <laughs> we live in it and I'm here all the time and I don't just do YouTube like there's other things I do that take time away so this is just a way for me to clean and get motivated and also I feel like it really helps inspire other people what 
do you watch cleaning videos for? Do you watch it to help with anxiety? Do you watch it to get motivated? Or do you watch it just because you're kind of uh, curious, I guess, <laughs> about what people's homes look like? I know there's a lot of different reasons why people watch cleaning videos. So I'm curious what your reasons are. Alright y'all, so this is called the Angry Grandma. It is one of those steamer things that you can put in your microwave. One of you are nice enough to send this to me and I wanted to try it out for y'all on a video. So I filled it up halfway with the vinegar and then I added the water and then a few drops of lemon essential oil. I'm going to pop it in the microwave for a total of 4 minutes. I wasn't really sure how long I was supposed to leave it in there because I already threw away the directions. but. I did one minute and I was like that was not long enough so it needs to be in there long enough to create the steam because that's what you need to break up all that dirt, grime, food particles off of your microwave and our microwave is a mess but it is okay. I'm going to clean it as best I can today but this is a very old microwave and we plan on getting a new one anyways so I'm just going to clean it for today and then at some point y'all will see a new microwave. Aaron wants a really big microwave and y'all know how I feel about it taking up space already and it's a small microwave but we shall see. So I just went in and wiped down the counters and then after I'm done wiping down the counters with the cleaning spray I'm going to go back in with a dry cloth and dry the counters. I just like to do this that way there's no like cleaning spray residue or just to go back through one more time to make sure I didn't miss anything. to get over you again oh, 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 oh. have to get over you I keep on making the same mistake so just wet that same cloth that I used to dry the countertops and now I'm taking out this angry grandma and I apologize if any of y'all are grandmas. I don't know why they called it an angry grandma, but <laughs> um, and I'm just going to wipe down the microwave as best as I can and hopefully it comes clean, but y'all are going to see some up close cleaning of this. So hope you enjoy it. Also, 
I just want to remind y'all of like it's just is what it is with cleaning videos and I'm sure a lot of other videos but this is just me doing my best and so yeah that that's it if, if you see something that you may think oh not good enough um, that is okay but this is just the best I am doing
So if y'all saw the last video, I shared all that cold coffee that we bought because we don't really drink hot coffee when it is warm outside. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this coffee pot underneath the counter so that I can save space on top of the counter. So when we painted the laundry room, I got a little paint splatter on the wall. But the white part of the wall was still a little bit wet, so I didn't want to put the tape on it. But we do use the blue tape when we're painting the rooms. So on the toilets, I've been doing the same thing as I do on the counters in the kitchen. I'll go in with the actual cleaning product that I'm going to use. And then once I'm done doing that, I'll go back in with a dry cloth and just do a, another run through of it. Just to make sure I got everything and then also it's dry. I don't know what it is. I just don't like leaving things wet. But this is what the bedroom looks like now. I wanted to show y'all this blanket I got from Ollie's. It's like a liquidation store similar to Big Lots. Um, so I think that was like $7.99. And I don't know why in the world I'm showing you the bathroom 
messy again. I meant to show you an after, but I don't know why that's there. But anyways, y'all just saw me clean the bathroom. So this is day one of cleaning that is done. And I'm going to show you what the pot roast looks like now because it is about done. And Aaron would have been home soon. Y'all saw him earlier in the video. He was heading out to fish. And ironically, today is uh, Monday and he had a doctor's appointment. So he is out fishing right now. But this is what the pot roast looks like. And y'all, the vinegar helped so much. Also used some green onions from my garden. So, so happy that it turned out good. And I hope that if y'all try it, it is just as good for y'all. The meat just fell apart, which is always my goal when I'm doing like a pot roast. So today is day two, and also on that day that I went to Ollie's with Erin, I picked up a new set of sheets. So I got the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, and then also they sent four pillowcases in there. Um, normally they only give you two, but I think it was $14.99, and y'all, that, it was so thin. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the greatest quality. I would not recommend buying your sheets and stuff from Ollie's. I would just, honestly, the best place I've gotten them that I've been to is Walmart. Their sheets are really good. Like the Mainstay, I think that's the brand. Their sheets work great. We've had one set of sheets from them for about three years now. And they haven't looked any different than when we got them. But whenever I get sheet sets from Ollie's, they normally last about, I don't know, maybe a year. And then they start to get a lot of peeling. So I end up getting rid of them at that point. But changing the sheets on our bed. And it was so fitting because it's been literally two weeks since I've done this. Every two weeks never fails. But, um, I mean, I think I've asked y'all before how many times you change your sheets. But I guess it just depends on... Um, who it is like if it was just me I don't know if I would change them as often but because it's me and Erin and Chloe honestly I probably should be changing them once a week because we let our dog sleep in the bed with us but I think every two weeks is fine It's the time that I'm going to be cleaning out our shower. We have two showers, but we only use one. We use the other one for storage. <laughs> um, benefits of living in a single wide trailer. <laughs> anyways, if we had a bigger family, we would obviously use both showers. But anyways, I'm taking everything out of this. It is a mess. I hate 
cleaning the shower. I hate it. <laughs> I don't like cleaning the shower, and I do not like, um, don't like vacuuming. Like, I don't mind vacuuming one room at a time, but I don't like vacuuming every room in one day. Probably because I have a corded vacuum cleaner. I feel like if I had a cordless vacuum cleaner, it would be a game changer. But Aaron did not want me to get a cordless vacuum cleaner. He wanted to get a corded one, so that's what we did. But I'm using these little things y'all have seen me use before to get up any hair out from under there. Now, I recently did this like a little over a week ago, so it wasn't too bad. And also, I had bought that little hair stopper, which helps so much. Um, it gets a lot of the hair for you, so you don't have to worry about it. I got it at Walmart. But after I get this done, I'm going to spray down the shower with the Kaboom spray that's purple. And then I'm going to go in with a big old washcloth and wipe everything down from top to bottom. And then I'm going to go back through and rinse it. And then I'm going to dry it with a towel. Every hour we spend together And suddenly The chances are small just like the lottery
So now that the shower is done, I did get some water spots on the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and just wipe down the floor real quick. Y'all, my feet are dirty. I'm a nature child. I walk outside without shoes on all the time. I just don't even think about it anymore. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to get this bathroom finished up. And then I'm going to organize my little things that are hanging up above the towels. Because they get decayed. They get cluttered all the time. They get out of organization. So I need to fix that. I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how
we got time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive today's video also this may seem a little bit random but i would really appreciate if y'all let me know in the comments if you prefer more music or more talking because i feel like i talk a lot in the cleaning videos and i don't want to talk too much and also a lot of times i don't really know what to say <laughs> because i'm I, i'm watching it back and i'm like they can see I'm doing dishes but should I say that I'm doing dishes like I don't really know I want to make the videos better for y'all though so please let me know um, whatever kind of feedback you have video wise so I can make these better but I re remember I don't strive for perfection because I want these to stay as real realistic as possible um, but I hope y'all have a great day. Don't forget to leave your positive quotes down below as well. And I will see you back here in the next one. Bye. Bye.